My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. Today I am reviewing Mr. Fragrant by Atrium Fragrant. I never get time off, so it's quite difficult scheduling this thing. So this is 90 pounds for 100 mil. And the notes are orange, lavender, vertiver, ambergris. Do we have our bottles of Mr. Fragrant? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So he sent this to me. Very nice. We speak on Instagram. I'm not on Instagram anymore. Phil looks after it for me now, but uh, he sent this to me. He's got a second one hour. I'll be, be reviewing it sometime. I review things in a block and because I am busy running a business, so I don't get time like I used to, to film this. You know, I have to film, I think 12 at a time over a couple of days. So anyway, 90 pounds for 100 mil. Let's have a look at the atomizer. I mean, better than some that I've tested that are like expensive. Nice. I love the name of brand. I can't even pronounce it, but to me, that's like Atrium. But that's my dyslexia, but I really like it. I don't know what I'm going to expect from this, but Vertiver and all the rest of it. 90 pounds for 100 mil. Before I start, what are your thoughts on this? What do you think of it? Have you used it? Do you like it? I think it's likeable. I've smelt some of this before somewhere, so that's great when you're launching your first fragrance. I see Super Heady own a top note musk to give sort of like a fruity quality. This is quite fruity, sweet. Vertifer, patchouli, lavender. I think they call this a shepherd. Why aromatic, that sort of thing. Orange seed with the peppermint's very nice in it. The choice of naturals are really good. And broxin, acetates, limo. This has been constructed really well, smells finished, smells complete. The sweetness, I like in it. The lavender, I like in it. The vertifer, the patchouli, the lavender. The sort of tonka aspect, I like in it. The ambergris is from, there's a lot of ambergris-like raw materials in this, which give weight, substantialness. Smells undoubtedly masculine, smooth, sweet. Finish, smells older, smells professional. It's got a aromatic sort of finish to it. Clean, sweet, fresh finish to it. The vertiver and patchouli are quite dominant. So I'd imagine if you don't like patchouli, if you don't like vertiver, seedwood, if you don't like that sort of thing, you're not going to like it. What it reminds me of, but it's very different. So don't pick my brains. Is the Chile de Jaimes, their fragrances and Roja's oligarch before he changed it to Ice the Blue or something, I don't know. It's in a similar ballpark to that. And I smelt Italian Cyprus by Tom Ford. And even though they're all very different, they're all in that classification of the very woody, smooth, sweet. So if you like that, you like this. The price is like mad, isn't it? 90 pounds for 100 mil. On to my final thoughts. So with these sort of fragrances, I really struggle. And I'll tell you why, because I don't like overly dry, woody, vertiver, patchouli fragrances. They're just not for me. I like sort of slightly sweeter fragrances. Interestingly, I've been working on this style of perfume, not like this, but this sort of like classification of very vertiver, cedarwood based fragrances. And it's probably the most hardest thing for me to create because I don't like it. What I gravitate to is very sort of sweet. My favorite fragrance is a rose fragrance is actually. So I gravitate to that and that I find really, really easy and I don't struggle with because I love it. This style of perfume very personally, I find really hard and I don't like it, but that's really personal. But this is being created really well. For I imagine the brief was professional, aromatic, slightly older, serious. It smells very serious. It doesn't smell. I don't think of this as like a fun fragrance. I think this is serious. This is a great work fragrance. This is a professional fragrance. I don't think of it as skipping down the street, having fun. Not at all. The dry down is nicest. The dry down is nice with that sort of patchouli, vetiver. I would have loved some slight fruit warm materials to sweeten it slightly. But this is really personal, so kind of is what it is but even on these vertebrous patchouli fragrances it's nice to get a tiny bit of sweetness in and this has sweetness in but i would have liked personally would have liked it sweetened with some acetate some sort of fruit molecules just slightly just to sort of sweeten it. and i think it would have been very nice but i didn't make this fragrance and i didn't do the brief for it so it is what it is hey it's very nice i like the finish on it projection's great i'm marking an eight out of ten it's really not for me these sort of fragrances I would never choose. I would never wear these, I would never buy these, but I think I can recommend it for professional. 
The price is insane. 90 pounds for 100 mil in this aspect, and you're not gonna hear me say this very often, I think it's priced slightly too low because of the amount of naturals in it, because of the choice of naturals, because of the construction. I think he priced it slightly too low. He could have gone slightly higher. The price I think is excellent. I think it's really excellent for what it is. I think the projection is really good. Longevity is really good. CR is really good. I think it's a really good fragrance, but it's not for me because I don't like the patchouli, vetiver, all of that. It's just not for me, but I think it's a great perfume. So I love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe. More fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.